not ashamed to open my mouth. Hallelujah. I'm a free worshiper. Any free worshipers in the house. Hallelujah. If you're not ashamed to let others know that God made good to you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you ought to praise God with your blessed self. Hallelujah. Things could be a whole lot worse than what they are right now. Take it over by the grace of Almighty God. We're here today. Hallelujah. And we give him praise. Hallelujah. They did not feel God already moving in the building. Anybody feel God in the house? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is your day. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, today is your day. For breakthrough. For blessings. Hallelujah. Anybody woke up with your mind stayed on Jesus? Anybody went to bed with your mind on Jesus last night? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For watching over us and keeping us. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, first of all and foremost, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, who is God, our comfort and keeper. Amen. We are the Elder Bishop and Lady Bishop. Let's give them a hand clap of praise in the house. Amen. We are the First Lady of this house, Lady Campbell. Hallelujah. Amen. We are the every saint of God, every child of God in the house. Everyone that's here today, let's give them a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. God is about to do something in your life that will blow your mind. But God needs you to trust him. Can anybody in here say, Lord, I trust you? In spite of what it looks like, in spite of what I'm going through, I'm going to trust you. Anybody got a made up mind? Hallelujah. Come on here. Anybody went through some stuff on this week that the enemy really stopped trying to think that he was going to throw you overboard? But can you name You, hallelujah, you made up your mind and you was going to be angered in the Lord and the Lord kept you. Anybody know he will keep you in perfect peace? If you keep your mind stayed on him. Anybody should have went crazy. Thought that you was going to have a nervous breakdown this week. But God kept you. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor. Say neighbor I'm still here. By the grace of God. I'm still here. I don't deserve to have what I have. And to be able to do what I can do. But I'm here by the grace of God. And tell your neighbor since you're here. You might as well praise him. Hallelujah. Anybody know that if you can't praise God. That you'll lose your mind. How many know that when there was time. Hallelujah. There was so much that was against you. Uh, that the enemy thought you was going to keep your hands here. But you came in with your mouth open. With your hands lifted up. And said Lord I don't care what I'm going through. I'm still going to praise you. And it seems like all hell broke loose against you. But it fell off your shoulders. When you said Lord I trust you. Hallelujah. We give him praise today. We give him praise today. Let me come down. I want to release this word in the house. Glory to God. I thank God for it. What he's doing, amen. Thank God for stirring the people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our word today is going to come from the Gospel of St. Mark, the 10th chapter. Amen. The 46th through the 52nd verses. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus, come on, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We praise you, God. There's no one like you. And Lord, we can't stand on our own, but we stand in you. You are hope and stay. You are comfort and keeper. We thank you right now. As we surrender ourselves in exchange for your will, God. Have your way in us, O oh God. I thank you for healing sick bodies right now. I thank you for turning things around right now. I thank you for blessing your people, God. Father God, I come against a mind that the enemy wants to hold captive today. That we say, not our will, but your will be done. Lord, we give ourselves away to you today that you will be magnified through our lives oh God Father God I thank you for breaking every chain of the enemy right now we come against fear we come against doubt we come against worry we come against stress we come against poverty I thank you for faith to believe you for the miraculous there's nothing too hard for you oh God for there's no failure in you for all your promises are yea and amen. amen. And we just thank you right now. You. That he which had begun the good work in us shall perform it. 
unto the day of Jesus Christ. Lord, we love you right now. Just lift your hands and love it. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you for making a way out of no way. Thank you for putting food on our tables. Thank you for clothing us. Hallelujah. In our right minds today. Thank you for shelter. Thank you for food. We praise you. Now, Lord, have your way in this service. We come against every assignment of the enemy right now. In the name of Jesus. We give no place to the devil in this service, God. For we know that when the praises of you go up, the blessings come down. Shower down blessings upon your people right now. I thank you, Lord God, for bringing peace to every heart. In Jesus' name. Lord, we trust you. In spite of what it looks like, we trust you. In spite of what we feel, we trust you. For we walk by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. As we look at the Gospel of St. Mark, the 10th chapter, the 46th through the 52nd verse, we're going to take a look at this, amen, and we want to see it in a different perspective on today. And I pray that our hearts and our minds are open to receive what God has for us. And the word of the Lord reads, 46th verse, and they came to Jericho. And as they went out of Jericho with his, as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great number and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David. Have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Anybody need God mercy? Yes. Hallelujah. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be brought, called. And they called the blind man saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise. He called it thee. And he casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What would thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Glory to God. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received this sight and followed Jesus in the way. From the verses of, that we have read today, the verses of the text of this particular chapter, amen. I want to take the text or the thought when obstacles become opportunity. When obstacles become opportunity. Everyone has things in their lives that prevent us from moving or going places or doing things. We call these things obstacles. And obstacles are things that blocks one's way or hinders or prevents progress. Glory to God. This is why many people feel stuck, feel like they're going nowhere, feel like they're spinning their wheels and nothing is working for them. Hear me. No one ever said life would be easy. No one ever said that life would be without obstacles. Yeah. Glory to God. The thing about obstacles is that what we get this, what we do with them when we are faced with them. Uh -huh. Get this. You can really have, you only have two choices. Get this. When you encounter an obstacle, you can either let the obstacle get this have their way with you, or you can turn to those obstacles into opportunities to move forward. And what is wrong with many of us, get this, 
we have allowed, get this, our obstacle to become our opponent. Y'all better help me. Have you ever dealt with something and it seemed like it just won't move and the more you pray and the harder you pray, it just seemed like it's stuck and it's a stubbornness there and nothing working and nothing changing. It has become an opponent. Because get this, when it becomes a point, and hear me, it has a way of talking to you. Oh, y'all better help me in the house. Yeah. Come on, tell me that it ain't gonna move, it ain't gonna go, and you feel stuck, and you feel helpless and hopeless, and because that thing has been there for so long, you have chosen, get this, just to live with it. Uh -huh. Can I help somebody? Uh -huh. Somebody been sick for so long, have chosen to live with that sickness. Yeah. Somebody have been hurt for so long, have chosen to live with the pain, but tell your neighbor, say, David, you at the right place at the right time. Today is your day. High five your neighbor, say, neighbor, you at the right place at the right time. If you want to be helped, you can be helped. Come on here. What's the use of going to the doctor and the doctor is giving you the proper diagnosis, but you ain't listening to the doctor. You trying to tell the doctor what is wrong with you. Come on here, but he's staying. He knows the profession. Y'all better help me in the house today. When we go to God, many times we tell God our thoughts that God already tell you, but God already knows. God is just waiting for you to come on here to trust him and let him have it. And so many times uh, we say we turn it over to the Lord and he'll work it out, but he ain't working out because you haven't turned it over yet. Sometimes, get this, God will give us three answers. He will give us yes or no or sometimes wait. Y'all better hear me. And so many times when God tells us to wait, it's a hard process, a, a thing that we, we don't like to go through, the waiting period, because we always want things quick, fast, and in a hurry. Y'all better help me in the house. Why do you think we got microwaves? Because many times we're too lazy to cook. We can pop something in the oven. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Thank God for microwave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when it comes to the work of God and to the call of God on your life, get this. Many times we want to jump to the end. Come on here. But not even starting at the beginning. Y'all better help me in the house. We don't want to go through the pain and the suffering. Glory to God. That God allows, come on here, to bring out the best in us because everything has a process, has a reason, has a purpose that God allows us to go through. Tell you, maybe he means it for your good. But the devil meant for bad, God means it for your good. Come on here. It ain't meant to destroy you. It's meant to build you up. It's not meant to tear you down, but to elevate you to a higher place. And what's wrong? Get this. We don't want to study to prepare for the test. And so when the test comes, we fail the test. And so why are we retained? Because we don't have the proper knowledge applied to what we need to go to the next level. Because if you can't deal with the stuff you're dealing with now, how can you deal with greater stuff in the future? Lift your hands. When your obstacle becomes your opponent, hear me. An opponent is someone who competes or fights against another. In contrast, an argument, rival, or adversary. When things come against you and begin to act stubborn and won't seem to go or move out of your way, get this, hear me. They have become your opponent. Hallelujah. And, it, and what has happened, many of us have chosen, get this, to allow our obstacles to become our opponents because, get this, we don't want to fight. We don't want to face them. We, some people, instead of facing confrontation, they rather go the opposite direction. And what has happened, that's why we have so many children growing up because we don't want to deal with the children. Get this, because we too busy want to live our own lifestyles. Y'all put it in the house. And I'm telling you, when I was coming up, it wasn't, come on here, I want to go to McDonald's. No, you ate what was said before you what was good. Y'all hear me? Oh, you didn't eat. It wasn't no bucking up to mom and daddy because you bucked up to mom and daddy, you got knocked down. Hallelujah. But now we call it child abuse. Anybody know that that was the best thing for you? That when you tried to jump in mama's face and mama cold cocked you? Listen, my mama was like a ninja because she could hit you across the room with a shoe. <laughs> and sometimes it wasn't only a shoe. Sometimes it may have been stick or an ashtray, whatever. But whatever near, they get your attention when they come. Say, sometimes God had to go through extreme means to get your attention. Because we ain't listening when he called out, no, y'all, but he helped me in the house. Right. And so many times we insist on our own 
own way because we think that we know best. Come on here. But come on here. If we knew what was best for us, we'd be doing a whole lot better. But that's what messed us up because we really don't know. God created us. How can we tell the creator what to do with us when he was the one that created us and knows everything about us?
this. Don't get mad when they turn on you because you don't give them what they want. Yeah, Y'all can help me. They need to look at all those other times that you suffered and went without. Come on, mother. Come on, fathers. That you went without to make sure that they had food on the table. That you didn't either. You, know, they, they, you made sure they had nice shoes while you were holding your shoes. You had to put that, that scotch tape, that, uh, that, uh, that, that gray tape around your shoes. Come on here. Going to work nine, twelve, ten hours a day. Going, uh, going to work for three or four hours of sleep while they rest and to make sure they had everything they need. Come on here. We need to be more great. spoil a child and that's what's happening yeah. because we was abused we don't whip our kids so they get this they've been abused twice over now mm-hmm. for the simple fact it's also abuse when you don't correct them that's right. because they grow up feeling entitled and they can have their way whenever they want y'all better help me in the house yes. and so now that you have a monster on your hands get this you need to go back and look what did you do Come on here to allow that seed to grow up in them to think that they can have their way. When they were pointing at Timber Tantrum and say, tell you, you say, stop it. No, you stop it. You say, oh, look at little Johnny. The devil is a liar. That ain't cute. That's a spirit right there. And you better deal with it because if you don't, it's going to deal with you. job, a divorce, a sickness or disease. Come on, rejection of a loved one. Come on. All of us have faced obstacles in our lives at some point. Even children face obstacles. Y'all come on here. Because obstacles cause you to face and have you to choose and make a decision. Come on here. Whenever you face with an obstacle in your way, get this, and you revert back to the past, means you, instead of going forward, you just went back. And that's what's wrong, because it's more convenient and easy for us just to go back instead of press our way through to move forward. Because any anytime you got to move forward, get this, your obstacle that's put in your path has now become an opportunity when you look to the eyes of Jesus Christ and say, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You gotta look at that thing and say, Lord, I thank you that you allowed this come just another opportunity to reveal yourself how great you are, how marvelous you are, how awesome you are. You are mighty God and I praise you. Even with this sickness, Lord, I thank you that you are the Lord that healed me, that I'm just gonna trust you through the process. Y'all, but he helped me. 
How many leave when we face with opposition? Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody hear me? Every job, you're going to have obstacles. Yes. Amen. Ain't no job going to be easy. Amen. Come on here. Amen. When people say, well, I love my job, this and that, they face with the problem, but they, sh get this, they choose to accept the challenges. That's right. Get this because they make some better. Y'all better right. help me. They, 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 they realize that there's, there's, there's potential in them that if God allows it to come my way, he's giving me the grace to overcome it. And I might as well come on here. Bow my head and say, devil, you are liar. Come on here. Instead of me submitting to what the devil's trying to do. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, God don't want you to bow down to the devil. He wants you to put the devil in check. He's already giving you power and all the powers of the enemy. What's sad? 
He couldn't see Jesus, but he could hear him. Y'all been hearing? Yes. Some people have sight that they can't see. And he used his hearing to cause him to cry out.
Come on, lift your hands. It's my time now. It's my time now. No more being overlooked. No more being pacified. Because he did this. He sat by the highway side begging. But when he, oh God, heard about Jesus, then your neighbor said, Faith, come by hearing. And hearing about the word of God. I could be going through something, Sister Bill. But when I'm making the church and I hear the word of God preach, it just stirred my feet to let me know that God hadn't forgotten about me. Look at your neighbor and neighbor. God knows you're hurting right now. And God knows you're upset. Because things ain't going like you want. But God said, Can you trust me today? That I got it worked out. I'm not minded to with God. Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the plans that I have for you. Said the Lord, plans are possible you. Plans are hope for future. Say your neighbor to neighbor. God has got it all under control. And no matter what it looks like right now, it ain't over yet. Why? Because it's just a step in place to the process that God is calling me to. I gotta walk on. I gotta go by myself. Tell your neighbors and neighbors. If mama don't go, if daddy don't go, if brother don't go, if sister don't go, if children don't go, I mind made up to serve the Lord. Anybody here got a made up mind to serve the Lord? But he be lying on, talked about, ostracized, scandalized, criticized, belong to what it called. And Jesus is with me. I know that everything's gonna be alright. Look at your neighbors and neighbors. They acting funny on your job right now. But that's alright. Just we endure. Endure for a little while longer. Because God is trying to take you to a better place. Take your neighbors and neighbors. It's my time for promotion. And that's why they're trying to run me off. They want me to miss this opportunity. And allow my hallelujah. My opponent to get the best of me. But the devil is a liar. Tell your neighbors and the devil is already defeated. He's already broke. Hallelujah. And the victory is already mine. Everybody hear me. The war is already won. But we have to still fight battles. Tell your neighbors and neighbors. The battle that we got to fight. But the war is already won. And we got the victory. To our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Tell your neighbors and neighbors. God is trying to get you. To trust him. Even when you can't see him. Trust him. Even when you can't hear him. Trust him. Even when you can't feel him. Tell your neighbor it ain't my feeling. It's not by sight, but it's by faith. Hallelujah. And I can have what God said I have. I can do what God said I can do. I can be what God has called me to be. Hallelujah. But the choice is yours. Why are you going to lay down and quit? Why are you going to rise up and fight? Tell your neighbors and neighbors. I got my sword in my hand. I got my shield in my hand. I got the arm of God on. And I'm ready to go to war. Go to war with the devil. For my children. Go to war with the devil. With my family. Tell your neighbors and neighbors. What you going to do? What you going to do? the wall, or you're going to sit in the corner and cry and feel sorry for yourself, or you coming out fighting, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord, anybody in here, you're a soldier in the army of the Lord, I dare you get on your feet and say, Lord, I know me no more, I'm not going to throw in a but I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna crush you. I'm gonna keep on walking each and every day by faith. When your obstacle become your opportunity, you no longer see the same. Hallelujah. You're no longer in the same place 
you walk through that door that the Lord has opened for you. You're better, you're stronger, you're wiser, you love a whole lot more. You can appreciate the process. Hallelujah. Because you got new sight. You got new revelation. Thank you, Lord. Come on, lift your hands. Hallelujah. Anybody facing something, I want you to come today. It seems like it's going to take you out. But you made it in your mind today that I'm going to turn it over to the Lord. And He will work it out. I want you to come right now. Hallelujah.